So what we're going to do is we're going to build a protocol that is designed to tip. The worst thing you want for a consensus protocol is for it to be stable in the middle. You don't want that. You want it to say either this happened or that happened. You want it to fall to one of the two sides. And the core operation is so darn simple, as I promised you, that I can just illustrate it to you. It's very simple. We are in a very big crowded, uh, crowded stadium. We don't know who's in it. Um, but uh, we start out, we look around, we pick a small number of people around the stadium. Yeah, five of them, let's say. Somewhere between you know, five to ten will do. And then we poll them. We say, look, uh, you know, you, A, B, C, D, E, what do you think? What shall we pick, red or blue? And these nodes then will respond. They can say red, red, blue, red, blue. When we see this, we go, okay, it looks like the entire stadium is tilting towards red, at least from my own perspective, based on one round of polling. And so what I'm going to do now is simply add my weight to what I perceive to be the heavier weight. So I'll throw my weight behind the red after this poll. It's dirt simple. Now this uh, uh, repeats itself for everybody else. You do the same, you do the same, and so on and so forth. And you can see that even if we start out in the worst possible scenario of a 50-50 split stadium, after one round, we're not going to be at 50-50. The chances of that are astronomically small. After two rounds, even smaller. After three, it's just we're talking about probabilities so low that it's more likely that your phone will misbehave and miscompute that then uh, you will stay at 50-50. We will go from a 50-50 split to a 51-49 split, more or most likely. And after a 51-49 split, we're going to find ourselves in a bigger split, 53-47, uh, and so on and so forth. This thing is designed to tip. It's not going to stay in the middle. And as it tips, as more and more people shift to one color or the other, we're going to have a, 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 first a phase change. So the speed with which we move towards one direction is going to increase and increase. And at some point, we're going to reach the point of no return, where the entire stadium either has red cards on top of their foreheads or blue cards.